Yeah, hi. Could you identify yourself, please? Hive Queen. Who's uh, which um, Hive Queen of which faction? Small grey. Like four or five foot greys, yeah? Yes. And how did we come into contact? Mm. Something happened when she was little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have a Zeta Reticuli built demon in her. Is that correct? Hmm. This is the first time we've encountered that technology. Why did you put it in her? So we could use her. For what purposes? Or for dimming her light and feeding us. Right, parasitic, right? For parasitic purposes. Correct. Hmm. And you know who I am, don't you? Yes, I know who you are. Who am I? Demon catcher. And now you've put me, I've put now you've put yourself on my hit list. Hmm. Not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> How extensive is the program? Extensive. We have been um, here a long time. So we're talking millions of these things, hundreds of millions, tens of thousands. Hundreds, thousands. And what gives you the right to do this? Nothing gives us the right. We just take it. How many different Earth governments is, uh, is your faction in treaty with? Many, many, many. More than, ten. More than 10? Yes. More than 100? Mm, no. Somewhere in there, but not more. More than 50? Yes. More than 75. Yes. Just come back to me with a number. I don't want to play the guessing game all day. Just get, <laughs> get, get your facts straight, right? Ninety-seven. There's only two hundred national governments on the planet. There's only two hundred nations on the planet. Hmm. And we have nearly half. Yeah. Well, I would say that's about ninety percent of the power base of Earth, wouldn't you? Correct. And so you, I'm going to leap to the conclusion that you've ignored the smaller inconsequential nations and only worked with the, the larger nations. Is that right? Correct. 
<clears throat> Are you exchanging technology with Earth nations? We have in the past. Did you trade ship technology? Yes, and weapon. Do you have underground bases here on Earth? Yes. How many? 200. What's the estimated population of grey aliens on Earth at the moment? I think not so many, but many hybrids, yes. And that's the name of the game for you guys, right? Start with hybrid, then take over. Why don't you just take over? There are other forces against us. Like who? Mm. Space Force. How many Earth-based space programs are based on your technology? Most of them, I think. How many are there? Earth-based space programs. Mm, eight. Can you name them? I don't know if I can get to eight, but I can name what I can name. Go. Russia, America, China, France, Korea, North Korea. Mm, that's all I know. I what, about the, what about Germany. the Nazis? Yeah, yeah. Germany. <laughs> How could I? Think? You know, you have a new old Germany and an old Germany, right? You have a pre World War or a World War II Germany. Yeah, that one. But after World War II, you did not involve yourself with them. Not with in them. Germany, no. How many. Factions have a how many of I'm sorry, I'll also say the uh ICC, the International Corporate Conglomerate. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So big, yeah. big, big money, big all those big big money, big tech, big pharma, big they're the they're the they're the financiers. Ah, Switzerland, CERN. Yeah, I suppose they would. When it talks about when you talk about finance, the central bank of central banks is there. <clears throat> yes. And how many of those are you allied with? Three. Somebody suggested to me today that the end of the Third Reich was the last last gasp of humanity. After that, it's only outsiders running the world. How do you respond to that statement? I think it was outsiders running the world before then as well. Now I would not say that 
is completely correct. Do you have agents? Do you have agents in the U.S. Congress? Yes. A lot. Yes. How many? Fifty-five. And what are you directing them to do? Create havoc. Break up the country from the inside. They're doing a wonderful job. You should mm -hmm. pat you should pat them on their bald, shiny heads. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about the end of demon kind? I'm I'm not sure that's possible. If we're in a world of duality like this planet is, how is it possible to have good and not evil? Then it's not duality, right? Oh, you haven't heard, have you? We're taking apart the platform that allows for duality. Ah, you're right. I had not heard. Now what do you think? <laughs> Transport. <laughs> There'll be no room here if that... When that happens, you're right. No room here for that. So that single action could be the most impactful thing that the Earthlings have ever done. Absolutely. Changes everything. Everything. <laughs> Are you even going to try and recover your personnel if you have to evac if if the planet goes that way? If the planet goes that way, what happens to them? What happens to us? My question. Been here so long, nobody remembers the answer to that question. Mm. We thought it was a permanent fixture. So did we. But duality is not a fact on many worlds, is it? There's many worlds where it's not the case. Yeah. Yes. And how what difference does that make to you if they're not into duality? We have no home there. If there's no duality, then there is not the emotions that feed us. So we have no home there. No no food, no home. No reason to be there. So you're talking about farm earth becoming a poisonous wasteland for you. Hmm. We had planned to make it a poisonous wasteland for you. <laughs> but yes, exactly. It would not suit our needs.
Have you ever failed <clears throat> to dominate a planet before? Yes. Under what conditions? Why did you fail? Warfare. What kind of warfare? Whatever is, I don't, it's whatever is used in space. It, I don't know if it's nuclear. I don't know what it is. So, that, might... so some planets have militarily fought you off. Some planets have been destroyed. And the people who lived on them had to leave. And so did we. So if you couldn't have the planet, then you would destroy it. Some we have, yeah. Would that be your plan for Earth? No, the plan for Earth was terraforming, changing it. Mm -hmm. Hence the carbon dioxide crap. Yeah, all of that drama. And grill, yes, that's all part of it. all that drama. Yeah. So you're basically a universal pest. Oh. So say you, not what I would consider myself, but. Well, what do you consider yourself? Just a being that needs to live, just like everybody else. Yeah, right. Yeah, so predator species might be a better a better way to describe you. That's probably closer to the truth. Although, you know, in your eyes, pest is too, but predator, yes. Yeah, we're, we're a bit tired of you lot. Mm. Now, back in the days when you were trading technology to the Earth governments, what were they giving you in return? People, animals, DNA, for DNA, and for hybrid experiments, people. So it wasn't about experiment. It wasn't about you weren't eating these people. Not us. There are others that do. What about the trade in human organs? That is a big trade. What's the most prized organ? The heart. The physical heart. Hmm. Why is it so important? Has its own brain. It's more than just an organ. Yeah. So it's actually an incredibly high-tech object, is it? Human DNA is the currency of many galactic trends. Uh, I thought DNA in general was a currency, but human DNA is, are you saying it's the currency or it's just yeah. another? No, well? it's special. It's special. It is a blend of many DNAs originally, and that makes humans and their DNA very special. Haven't you been able to replicate this sort of thing somewhere else? No, that's why we arranged to be able to take humans and breed with them. I hope not in the traditional manner. <laughs> No, 
we are geneticists. Oh, that's one image I can get out of my head. <laughs> I heard a rumor that your species cannot breed on its own. That is correct. We have um, for too long interbreeding for too long eventually not can do anymore. That's why we needed new input. So you're all inbred is what you're saying? Yeah, guess so. There's nobody else to breathe with except your cousins. And the humans that we were given. Well, we were given a small number and we took a large number, but. Yeah. Yeah. But who was going to stop it? Exactly. How many alien species are present on the earth? Uh, I I couldn't really, I don't really know. I think there are many, but I don't know all. Some are. Take a pun. Take a guess. I would say 33. Mm -hmm. Some well, are. Yep. Some are helpful to humans. Some are not. I don't believe there are any helpful aliens. I really don't believe that. Don't you? You think in the whole billions of galaxies of the plant of the multi universes there aren't some that are nice? <laughs> you think everyone's awful? I don't think they're like as altruistic as they could, as they set themselves out to be. I think like there's an exploitation game going on. Uh huh. Well. I know. Am I, am I sorry? Well, we definitely did. Yeah, but some of those nicer alien groups are still trading in human DNA, right? Well, then I wouldn't say they were the nicer ones. Well, none of the nicer ones stopped any of you guys, did they? Not allowed. What are you talking about? Non-interference. We don't take any notice of such rules, but some do. Yeah, right. So, but that just makes me sad. Yeah. You know, if, they, if they can sit by and watch the crimes of all of these other species, they're complicit in it too. Mm. You know, so they're not they're not the sort of friends we want to have. When we get in a the fight, they just watch, they lean on the wall. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I see your point. What percentage of the people walking around on the on the surface are a hundred percent human? Eighty-five. Okay. And what are the other fifteen percent? Some have. Some are from lineages that are reptilian. Some have sold their souls to the devil, <laughs> so they're not completely human. God bless the collaborators. You're going to need it. You're going to need it, boys. Some have already linked to uh, technology. Yeah. 
Are there one hundred percent robots walking around successfully posing as as earthlings? Yes, the governments have played with cloning for fifty years now, more. So yes, there are. I didn't say clones, I said robots. But for you, they're the same thing, aren't you? Because you're a geneticist. Very similar, aren't they? Well, one's biological and one's not. How do you define robot? I have seen... Yeah, true. I have seen things that look like human that is a robot. So how they've made it look like and sound like and answer and talk without if it is completely mechanical, that I don't know. So are you talking about Terminators? I don't understand that term. You should watch some Earth movies. <laughs> um, do you guys have movies? Do you guys have stories like that? No. How do the Zeta Reticuli tell stories? Verbal. Verbally. You don't you don't you don't make Things like that? We do, but not so much for entertainment. More for educating, planning. Oh, no, those things are for education and planning. Don't get me wrong, they're about programming us. Mm, true. Predictive well, what, programming. But well, what you're saying is that you've been presented with a with a remote control human and you're not sure if it's biological or robotic. Yes. Or what, or what combination of those two things? Mm -hmm. And how many underground bases do you think there are on Earth? More than we have. There are very, very ancient ones. There mm -hmm. are also newer, like this well, last century. Mm -hmm. and everything in between. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but how many do you, how many? Five hundred? Five thousand? Yeah. Five hundred. And is there a reason why and then and what about purely earthling underground bases? Is such is there such a thing? I I think not. I think even the mostly earthly ones uh, have other extraterrestrials there. Okay. And do they grow their own food down there? Are they self-sufficient? Some are and some are not. Some are fed. Some are, some are reliant on us delivering them to them, servicing yeah. them. Yes. 500. And like, are we talking city-sized places? Like what sort of populations do these things have? We're talking cities, tens of thousands. Small cities. 
tens of thousands. And so this is this is where our um, so since World War II, the Earth has been in uninterrupted prosperity for eighty years. Is this where all the wealth went? To building to building these things. That's right. Building That's and maintaining. A lot of it went. Of course, there are others who just, you know, have tunnels full of gold. I mean, some are just greedy, but a lot of it went to building those. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's the purpose of the secret space programs? What are they? What are what are they? Not what are their nominal goals? What sort of activities are they into? I am not sure of their of their purposes. I I would say um space exploration um for these forever the people on this planet have been told there's only you there's nothing else out there and we know that's not true so Obviously. yeah and so part of the the secret space program would be to begin to become a space-faring planet like many others others are meet to meet other cultures find out how it works i guess can't say i'm very much informed of their programs Why do you think they have to stay secret? I think there is still a lot of fear in this world, in, in those arenas in particular. And but that was manufactured. I like agree. They, they manufactured the fear to prevent themselves from exposing the fact that they're working with alien. Are you like is that that's nonsense? So maybe the so why um yes. So why why they are why they are determined to pretend that aliens do not exist, I have no idea. Unless it is just to cover up, for example, the deals that have been made where they said you can take some people and a lot were taken. So to cover their own... Political tracks. Yeah. Not so nice things. Is it easier for you to deal with a possessed politician than it is to deal with a non-possessed politician? Much easier. They're already... Uh, they already are influenced if they are possessed. So that makes it much easier. They're trying to create chaos. They're already trying to create chaos and you definitely have some key ingredients for chaos, right? <laughs> chaos is definitely the, the agenda. I mean, that you know, there's one whole secret society that's their, that's their thing. Order out of chaos. 
Yeah, well, that sounds okay, order from chaos, until you realise they're all about creating the chaos so then they can impose their own order. Absolutely. I totally, totally agree. Yeah, so that's the motto of the Masons, if you weren't up to date with it, people. Correct. What yeah. message would you what message would you have for me and my group? <laughs> hmm. What message would I have for you? Yeah. Conflicting ones come through and all of them are very Tongue in cheek. Keep up the good work. Um, your days are numbered. Um, none of which is. You don't know what to say to us, do you? That's exactly about it. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? I imagine your answer is no. Well, you know, and what sort of relationship would you want with an independent Earth? What do you see we have to talk about? Hmm. We don't. I was just being mean. No, we cannot be friends because our whole... Our whole way of being. Our ethos is so diametrically opposed, it's impossible for us to get along. Correct. Besides, you've still come, you've still shown up and create and done a lot of crime here as far as us earthlings are concerned. Is that a debt that you would repay? No. I didn't think so. We're not that nice. I know. I know. <laughs> tell me about the galactic AI. What can you tell me about the galactic AI? I I know of hive beings and hive mind that is uh, AI, AI beings. Mm -hmm. so the demons talk quite freely about, I call him the great nothing. You know who I'm talking about? No. Is it? The great nothing? An AI who's trying to take over the entire galaxy. Whoa. Mm. Okay. All right. You're making it sound like we're way off the mark. For... I don't know. I can't. I haven't got any. Nothing's coming. You got nothing to say on that topic. Yeah. So then, who do the demons serve? The demons serve. The head honcho, <laughs> that would be Satan or Lucifer, and I don't know that they're different. No, they are. They are Satan. Satan used to be the number one guy. Lucifer pushed him off the perch, and now he's the number two guy. And in Jesus' time, it was Satan was number one, and nowadays it's Lucky Luke. Ah. Uh. But, you know, Satan's much more of a brawler 
And Lucky Luke is much more of a politician and a trickster. No wonder he's in charge right now then. Well, oh, yeah, it, 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 it well, has through. been for some time. Yeah, well, look, you know, let's I won't understate his brilliance, but you know, I've also interviewed him less than the same way I'm interviewing you. And he was a total cocky. Sorry, I'll have to edit that. He wasn't <laughs> he was a bit of a numpty. But you don't know who he serves. No, I thought he was top of the food chain. Yeah, if you don't know that, if you don't know that, then you're obviously lying. He serves no, an API, I'm guessing now. If you don't know who's who on the Earth Zoo, then, you know, why am I talking to you? You asked to. Yep. What do the underground base humans want from uh, the Zeta Reticulans now? They've already got some decent tech going. They've already been some had some DNA trade. What's it about now? More advanced tech. We are so far advanced technology, technically, technologically. Mm -hmm. But you can't make a baby. <laughs> You're so smart. You locked yourself out of that one. <laughs> Yes. Not so smart. Oh, too smart for your own good. You guys don't you guys have working brains, but you don't have working hearts, do you? That's the problem. What happened? We're not yeah. I think we're not the only race who have done that to ourselves. So why did it happen for you? It was seen as a weakness. So um, bred out to for strength, uh, mental strength. And so now that you did that, you have to go and exploit some other species to recover what you willfully discarded. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Good move, guys. I thought you said you were, I thought you said you had a brain. <laughs> These things become apparent over vast amounts of time. Yep, that was how a many, big how many plas how many planets are you present on? Um, four. How many planet? How many of those four are you dominant on? Only one. Which one? That the reticuli. Yeah, okay. So you have some success in the spacefaring game. But I'm guessing you chose Earth specifically for the genetics. Yes. When you trade Zeta reticular genetics, is anybody interested in buying it? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> All right. Have you ever bought reptilian genetics? Long time ago. Did not work very well. But that's not very highly prized on the market, is it? Not now. Is Pleiadian, is Pleiadian human genetics regarded as superior or inferior to that of Earth humans? Um, there are a variety of 
different Palladian humans. Yeah. And so some, yes, but some no. Some you, some you can, okay, so some are better than Earth and some are not. Yes. You said something interesting a minute ago. It was about... <clears throat> It was about non-interference, and only, only, and only the bad guys actually interact with humanity. Is that right? Interact in a way that is that humanity perceives to be harmful. Only the bad guys do that. So, what do you? Because so we, don't, we, we don't care about the prime directive. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So what do you make of the YouTube Pleiadians? Are they which side of the line are they on? Are they even real? <laughs> are they really YouTube Pleiadians? I mean, are they Pleiadians or are they just people playing? So who so who are they then? I think they're just people having all right, so you're misled. You know, like that's that's not true. What you're talking about. But by communicating with Earthlings in that manner, are they are they breaking prime directive or not? No, because they are uplifting. They are inspiring. They are doing good. That's. I don't think. So if they're doing good, gets. so if they're doing good, why don't they give us the tech to keep ourselves independent? Perhaps because there's enough humans that would use it for their own purpose. Humanity is needs to evolve spiritually. There are too many evil people here. Yeah. Because one of you punks implanted demon kind here and they've been making trouble for millennia, for aeons. Yes. But so, no wonder, yeah. so no wonder we've devolved socially. And so do you think giving a high technology to a race of people who have that ability would be a smart move. It could be they could use it against their own people. I'm actually certain they would. <laughs> well, that's probably why it hasn't well, happened. No, no. So here's my next question. I, you're familiar with spiritual healing, right? And you know us earthlings have a natural capacity for it, a natural affinity for it. Yes. So why didn't you foster that technology? We did not want humans to empower themselves. Why didn't you foster that? Well, I am. But, you know, you guys have made incredible campaigns to destroy the technology. Explain. Well, the media campaigns and the public opinion that you've created about spiritual healing is that it's all bullshit. Ah. So nobody's interested in it. You've created an active disinterest. Yes, because we don't want people empowering themselves. How Aren't would that want... benefit us? Yeah, that makes you uh, maggot. Parasite is probably predator is even more predator. <laughs> <laughs>
And who is Mr. Global? Who is actually the number one human that you deal with when you're talking to? Who's the, who's the president of Earth? Who's the representative? The grape, the great pope. The He's pope, the one behind the scenes. The pope is the, the hierarchy. The great pope. Osin, he's an Osini from what? the Osini family. Oh, uh, yeah. The white Pope is just for the people. There's a black Pope as well, which I'm not sure what that is about, but the grey Pope it's is a Jesuit. The, the black Pope's a Jesuit. And so is the grey, and he's above them. Do you know his name? Orsini. Orsini. Mm hmm can't tell you his first name, that, but he's also... That'll do. That should be enough. Um, I think so. And so when negotiating with Orsini... Or his predecessor. Did you make him feel like this was an offer he couldn't refuse? Uh, as in, as in threatening. Yeah. Not so much. More. Not so much threatening, more uh, more greed or power hungry. All right, so you played into his weaknesses. Of course. Would you be able to give me a telephone call? Me? The one? Uh, why? To prove you're real. <laughs> I see. Um, well, would you believe I don't have a telephone? No, I do believe that, but I think you know somebody who does. You're talking with her. I'm not talking about a human telephone. I'm talking about a technological telephone. Ah. No. How disappointing. Where are you now that where are we talking to you from? Not telling me. Hang on a sec. I've got to get something warm. Yeah.
All right, I'm back. I didn't get anything then, by the way. All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. Has there ever been an independent faction fighting just for the Earthlings before? Have you ever encountered that? Long time ago, but they were defeated. Who were they? Some Anunnaki fighting other Anunnaki. One lot was for humans, one lot was not. Well, it's clear which way that went. Yes, very. And so each different, each different species has their own treaties with Orsini, is that right? Please repeat. Each different alien species has their own treaties with Orsini, is that correct? I would assume so. And what what activities does Orsini veto? What does he reject? Not much, as far as I can tell. What was the worst thing that, yeah, was there any? Yeah, I'm not trying to think. So he's a human who's not in it for the humans, is he? Not even a little bit. So whose interest does he serve? That would be Lucifer, wouldn't it? Would it not? Yeah, you're probably right. Do you actually make a distinction between discussing things with Lucky Luke and Orsini? Do do I? Yeah. Yes. With Lucky Luke, the wilder the suggestion, the more into it Lucky Luke would be. Exactly. And that's why there's never been any treaties with any positively aligned aliens. Is that right? Mm. Yes. Mm. All right. You've been awesome. Thanks for your help today. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I look forward to seeing you evacuating Earth. Well, if it's not going to be a dual, dual, duality, I look forward to that too. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>